so in this tutorial we're going to be making this player to have some animations some jumping animations and to run around the scene so before we begin today i want to show you some adjustments i made to my code first off i got rid of that can jump variable and got rid of all those other can jump stuff down here and the reason for that is because godot has a built-in function for the, for what all those things are meant to do it's going to say we're just going to do um, move and slide move then put a comma beside it and say vector to dot up so this is going to tell it where the floor is for some reason it's up i don't know it's meant to be down but as i said um the up is the minus y so this is not meant to even be so strange and stuff so vector to dot up means the ground is the floor and vector to dot down means the um the ground is the ceiling i guess <laughs> So all you need to do is just say is um is on floor here, get rid of that can jump and just say is on floor here and just add this here and that should do it. So now as I said before, we're going to do the um we're just gonna get rid of this detector. So we're going to do the sprite animation. First off, you have to get your sprites, your assets in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that, drag it in, make sure you have assets click, then drag your sprites in. Okay, so this sprite, we're going to change it, change type, and we're going to change it to a animated sprite. So if you don't know how I did, I just click right, um, use the right click, went to change type, and just changed it to an animated sprite. So here we are, animated sprite. We go over here to frames and the inspector panel, we click it, new sprite frames, and we're going to click on that. So it's going to pop up like your tile set um, popped up that time, but this one is for sprites. So we're, um, here you can see default these are our animations. We can rename this to idle, okay? Because we're gonna have four animation states. So we're gonna have idle, we're gonna have jump, and the last one is going to be run. Okay, so we have four animation states there. So for the idle, I'm going to click this uh, folder button here. I'm going to go into our assets, and we have two idle animations. That's sprite one and sprite two, S player one and S player two. So I'm just going to click those two um, by using control. Okay, click one and click the other one. I'm going to hit open. And here we have our sprites. So if we click play here on the inspector, for some reason we're not seeing anything. And the reason for that, why we're not seeing anything is um, under the animations here, we're in the run animation, we are meant to go to the idle. So if you click idle, you're going to see that our guy is going to be panting somehow there. <laughs> so we can change this to like a two so that we can have a smooth animation there that's going to be the speed and for the jump we're going to click this um, icon here this grid like icon here we are no more using this folder icon this whole icon is so that you can get two sprites in two different um, files so this grid icon here is going to um, get this two sprites from this one file so we're going to click open we're going to select it click open and you're going to set the vertical and horizontal flame frames in this case, there's only one horizontal frame and there are two vertical frames. So you can do that and you can just click the two of them here or you can click select select all frames. I'm going to add the two of them. And here we go. We're going to change the animation to our jump animation and see it here. Actually, this, are, this animation is for when it's jumping and when it's landing. So I'm just going to give this a one so that we can have something like this for the speed. And for the run animation, I'm going to click that grid icon again, select this one, um, one and four, yeah. Six, let's clear all frames and add all the four frames. So if we change this to the run animation, you can see that our player is now running. Um, we're just gonna increase the speed there to like a 13 and we should be good. So yeah, this is how to do your animations with a simple animator sprite. I'm sorry, I'm, um, there are other ways to do it like with an animation player, but I don't want to go through that because I don't know it's really common and I just wanted to be unique in this tutorial. So um, the sprite, um, the shape of the collision, as you can see, is not sitting on the um, player well. So we're going to drag that down, going to drag that down. It's also that it sits on the base of the legs here. And we're going to reduce the size or the width to something like this. I think this should be good. We're going to go back to the sprites. We're going to 
play the idle animation instead and yeah i think we're good so for the scripts now we're going to put in some things that are going to control when we are using some animations so under here under this um, when we calculate the move um when we calculate the move direction we want to say if the sign of the move is equal to a minus one so what this is going to do is it's going to check if the sign is in the minus direction or the plus direction that's if we're going front or backwards then in here we're going to say flip the sprites direction to the left so if we are moving um backwards that's minus one we're going to flip the direction to the left the next thing we're going to do is so now if we're moving to the left hand side we're going to flip the sprite and if we're moving to the right hand side we want to flip the sprite the other way so we're going to try this out um i'm going to just hit f5 on my keyboard and you see here we're going to select and we're going to select the levels and game.csn so that we can run it and here we have a problem sign cannot convert from flow to ins. okay so sorry we're meant to say move.x not just move so run that again and if we move forward you can see it's moving forward but once we turn back it's going to flip the sprites but if we release that button it's going to flip it back to the right so that's the problem and how we're going to fix it is we're going to make a variable called last direction and it's going to be equal to one and here before the if if sign move dot x we're going to say if sign move dot x is equal to zero that means we are not moving at all at that point in time or we're pressing the two keys then we want if we are not moving at all then the sprite of flip h is will be equal to a true or a false so this is basically a true or a false it's going to check if the last direction is equal to minus one so if the last direction is equal to minus one then we want to flip and if it's not we don't want to flip we just want to remain the way we are this one is going to turn to an elif statement and i think we should be good but before that we say last direction it will be equal to minus one so we update the last direction of where we're facing and here we say last direction is equal to one so i think we should be good i'm gonna run that and see now we move forward we move backward and you see that we remain backward even after we've left the back key okay so that should be good now for the real animations um what we need to do over here we're gonna say if move the y is less than zero that means we have jumped and we have not started coming down so if we're still on the air we're gonna set the sprites to play this jump animation then the next thing if move dot x is not equal to zero then we want to play the run animation if the move dot x if it's not equal to zero that means we're moving and we want to play the run animation i think this should be all last thing is else so else we want to play the idle animation so if we're not moving, we're not jumping, we want to be idle. So that should be it. Go to game, hit F5. And we can run. As you can see, this animation is really nice. We can run. If you stop there, you're going to see that he's going to somehow be panting and stuff. And as we jump, as you can see the animation. And what I want to do now is not just, it's not actually so mandatory. I just want to go to project, project settings, and go to environment. And we're going to change the color of how our um editor looks so i'm gonna give it this kind of um deep blue or something like pale blue or something so that at least it should be better when we run the game and stuff and if you're always wondering how i'm moving around i'm just using the right um right click key and just drag and just move around i'm sorry for not taking this as a very basic beginner level but anyways i try my best so thank you for watching see you guys next time in part three we're going to cover um, the player having a gun and maybe shooting around some stuff and screen shakes so yeah see you guys next time smash subscribe and peace